speaker. Oh, here it is. Yeah, by the way, um, after I do these food reviews or whenever I leave the VODs up, I've been noticing people you fucking leaving like these condescending and stupid comments like I'm your fucking lol cow. I'm not your fucking lol cow. So if I see stupid fucking comments now, I ban motherfuckers. And I don't give a fuck because I want to weed whack all these fucking IP2 cock sucking faggots out of my fucking life. I'm not banning you for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 24 hours. Now I'm doing perma bans. Fuck you. Hey, bye, spooky spam, Sammy. Fucking bitch. Don't suck fucking dick, faggot.
if we can raise, uh, if we raise 25 bucks, if I can raise 25 bucks, I want to go out for a steak at a restaurant. Um, 25 bucks. If I don't raise 25 bucks, I'm just going to go to Carl's Jr. and get their chicken sandwich for like six bucks and pay it out of my pocket. So if we can make 20, raise 25 bucks, I want to go to this steak place. So, somebody donate, or if you want me to go to any restaurant, do a command review, or and you could donate, and you tell me what restaurant you want me to go to, and and you have to be able to cover the bill. So you know, if the bill is going to be like thirty bucks, donate thirty bucks, and in the subject, if you cash at me. Or if you donate the money, t tell me in the subject or in the description where you want me to go with that donation money. And by the way, I'm only accepting Cash App, no PayPal, because you fucking faggots will charge it back. So it has to be a uh, square donation if you're going to donate through PowerChat. You can donate through PowerChat through Square, use your credit card or your Google Pay, or you can use DonationAlerts.com. And donate that way because you can't charge back. But if you donate via PayPal, I ain't going to fucking do it. You can donate through PayPal, but I ain't probably not going to do the fucking unless you're trusted. Motherfuckers trying to charge back on the PayPal shit.
All right, let me replay that. I was just setting up my power chat. I have to re-log re into my power chat every, like, fucking week. So, I might as well do this while I'm inside my house. Because when I'm on the road, this is going to be a pain in the, in the neck. Yeah, so, um... I've been applying for... Uh, I applied for like three or four jobs, regular jobs. I'm talking about being a cook. I mean, the pay is not that well here in Las Vegas, but it's like $15 an hour for me to be a cook or something. Um, a broiler cook at a steak. I actually applied at a steakhouse. I'm not going to tell you what steakhouse, but to work the grill, like flip steaks and shit. I have some experience, but it's a long time ago. Then I applied for a somebody for making pizza, but I guess the home pizza shit is not good enough experience. You know, I, do you know how to flip pizza? You know how to make pizza? Yes, at home. I make pizza at home. But I don't think that's good. They didn't want that. They didn't they didn't respond back. I'm being honest at least. Where's that authenticator app? Uh, there we go, I'm in. Alright, let me replay that dono. Then I uh, applied for this work at home thing. I just spent like 30, 40 minutes with the people. Like a, not, I don't know who if I was talking to a computer, but it was like a Teams interview. And they were just asking me questions and shit. And it didn't seem like a human being. It seemed like it was automated. But it would be good if it's a work at home job. You know, it's a work from home and that would be ideal. So I'm at the I'm at the, the thing at the point now where it, it is critical. And I don't know, once I get the job or whatever, I'm you're not gonna see me streaming for a while. Fuck it. I had enough. I really hate you know what? It's these fucking losers that make fucking money. It's the fucking losers with no fucking content, no personality, make the fucking money, and I make fucking sawdust.
Yeah, the landscapers come on Friday. Every once, a, I think every Friday and maybe every other Friday, but um, not as bad as it used to be. Um, I, did, I never noticed that the landscapers came until I stopped working or I started working at home. Um, I never noticed the landscapers, but they used to come at seven in the morning, which is a violation of a noise or the ordinance. Um, I think eight o'clock is okay, but seven in the morning, yeah. Now they come a little bit later, which is okay. Um, I need to take some of my supplements for my high blood pressure. You know, and I love when fucking losers restream me, by the way. They're such fucking losers, they can't come up with their own content. I need to get uh, some bread flour. I made a poolish, but I ran out of bread flours for some pizza. I'm gonna stick with the New York pizza style though. I should go back to the Neop Neapolitan style pizza dough. And I haven't even tried the New Haven. I, I did the New Haven, I, I tried to do something similar to New Haven, which is a Roman style dough, which is very thin crust. And it was it was really good, by the way. The thin crust, really Roman. I, I would say New Haven style pizza is very thin crust and crispy, and it's very similar. If not, I I never had New Haven pizza, so I'm not one to go and know what New Haven pizza is. But um, see the recipes online. But the Roman uh, pizza dough is like thin as fuck, and it was when I made it, it was delicious. But uh, it's on my bucket list to go to that. There's a couple of three New Haven pizza famous places there. It's supposed to be better pizza than New York style pizza. Like, like I said, within, I, I would say if I'm not, if I don't get the money, reach the 25 bucks. Then I'm just going to go to like a fast food place instead of go to a steakhouse. There's a leaf blower right here, right next to my house. Man, yeah, the leaf blowing is loud as fuck. I can see why people get upset with the leaf blowers and shit. I've seen YouTube videos of people losing it with leaf blowers. I don't personally care too much. You can put your music on, I guess, to drown it out. But it was just destroying my show. Take fish oil. I've been taking this for, I don't know, this is day 38, I guess. Fish oil, multivitamins, this, this, and then I got my blood pressure medicine, which I take probably like at 5 p.m. or so. I don't want to close the door. I like to get some fresh air in here. I'm not really on a diet. I'm just watching what I eat. I'm 
wasn't watching my sodium. I'm not eating that much fast food, also known as junk food. I want to start extra, ex, I was going to join Planet Fitness though. I got to find another fucking gym to join or maybe just work out at home. But the whole thing with the Planet Fitness, with the, they let transgenders in there and use the female restroom, it's kind of the principle. Even though I don't fear, because they only go into the female restrooms and shit, I don't know. I probably feel a little weird at the fucking trans testicles and in the male's restrooms. <laughs> Or one thing, I probably wouldn't even take a shower at Planet Fitness. I'll probably just, if I need to take a piss, I'll take a piss. I go home, I'll take a shower at home. That, that's what I, sometimes when I used to have my day job back in the day, they had a, and I would work out during my lunch break or, or something like that. Or before I go to work, I would usually work out in the morning and just use their, because the place where I worked, Many of the places where I worked, they had a gym that was free for employees. So would work out in the gym and just use their shower and then get ready for work. You know, basically would go show up an hour, like probably an hour. My workouts usually lasted 45 minutes back then. Echo, what is 703 area code? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. The 703 area code is a telephone area code in the United States that serves the northeastern part of the state of Virginia. 703 is Virginia area code. Yeah, when you shower at gym, gym should always wear flip-flops <laughs> as well. Or, you know, sandals or some shit. Alright, chat, so, like I said, within 20 minutes, I want to reach that goal because I'm, I'm hungry right now. If I don't reach that goal, we go to a nice steakhouse that uh, some, some other YouTuber recently reviewed and looks like the steak was pretty good, kind of close. There's another steakhouse that another, another YouTuber, a local Vegas YouTuber... Uh, it's all the way in North Vegas, but they get better. Sometimes when you go all the way in the sticks, they have better deals over there. Who knows? Maybe we'll go to, we get the prime rib. I always wanted, there's a couple prime rib places I wanted to check out, but that's at least 30 bucks. Unless we go to the other place downtown, there's a prime rib special for like 18 bucks or so. Ah, but the prime rib, dude, I tell you, when I make, when I, when the, whenever the prime rib is on sale, they sell it at the stores. Usually it's Christmas time, Easter or Thanksgiving. Then they have the big prime rib, bone in. I always buy it. Usually it's on sale for like $5 a pound. I buy it. And I tell you the truth, the last time I made my own prime rib, I made it in the air fryer. It was the best prime rib I ever had. It was better than it. Well, any restaurant. It was bigger and thicker. Man, I got like, for fucking, the prime rib that I bought probably was like $18. I got like three meals out of that prime rib. I made my own prime rib in the air fryer. made my own fucking horseradish Sauce, it was creamy horseradish sauce, really easy to make. I really don't fuck with Aju too much. I like fucking creamy horseradish. I like creamy horseradish on steaks or on fucking prime ribs. Rare or medium rare.
$130 dinner, Amiguza. I'm sorry, I missed that dono. I got looking for some clean socks. I got to get the low socks. I already threw away all my low socks where you wear shorts. So I got to get those low socks. This the ankle socks, but let me replay that dono. <sighs> The hell is going on with my internet on here? Let me see if it's connected to the Wi-Fi. No, it's not connected to the Wi-Fi. It's connected to data. Uh, that's all right, though. Oh, no ho! Just sent thirty dollars dinner, Amiguza. All right, let's head there. Thank you so much, Moho. Let's fucking go, Moho. Thank you very much, Moho. Let's do it again. Just sent thirty dollars dinner, Amiguza. Thank you so much, Moho. I want to probably go out for lunch, though, Moho. And what you're witnessing, by the way, Chad, you're, you're seeing probably a different side of OG Geezer. It's a sober OG Geezer where I'm rational. Only time I lose my cool is probably the road rage. But I'm pretty much cool, calm, and collective. And um, I'm starting to reevaluate my life and taking things more seriously. Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a manual labor job or a nine-to-five job up. I never thought I was better than a nine to five job. I just, it's just, I have never, I think the economy is really bad or just in what I do is, which is IT, I have never seen it this bad. What I think is that AI might be taking over a lot of stuff or they're outsourcing a lot of the stuff more than ever to the Indians, the Indian India subcontractors because they work a lot less money. And I, I've seen this coming a long time ago. I've been in this industry for more than about 20. I'm going to show you my age, about 20, ever since 2000. Remember 1999 with the year 2000 BIOS? That was my first gig, was upgrading everybody's BIOS for the year 2000 bug. That never happened. Because they only built the BIOS. <laughs> May Feynman send $20 more to dinner fun. Hey, thank you, Mafia Man. Well, anyway, I, I can humble myself and go back to when I used to be a kid and take any job that I can get. And I started off working. I got a job. I was a, basically delivered papers. I used to deliver the Daily News. I've been working since the age of like 12 years old. There was something called the Penny Saver, which was about, I must have had 400 penny saver it was only once a week and we would have to put all these it was a penny saver a bunch of ads that we, we'd have to put in bags and it was like 400 people it was, i went 400 like these they would drop it off at your doorstep and back then they only paid like 20 dollars to do that per week i did that because i wanted a job and i used to hire 14 year olds to do that shit and i never cheated on the job because there's people who would just pretend to deliver the penny savers and just throw it in the dump I never did that. I, I wrapped up all the ads and sometimes they were bigger than usual and it was time consuming to put all these ads and then the main paper in the, in the bag and then deliver it to each doorstep. 
And I knew some unscrupulous motherfuckers who used to cheat on it. I always worked with ethics. Then when I got old enough, which was the age of 16, I got a daily newspaper route. That was great money for me. Then I picked up a second route because my friend said, oh, I'm going to, he got old, old enough and said, you want my brother? My older brother has a route. You want to pick up his route? It was great because it was both my routes were connected. So I had this huge territory. Sure. Back then it was only like $40 a week, but for, you know, back in those days, that was good money and tips. I would tell you there was a blizzard. And I had a bicycle, snow, rain, fucking thunderstorms. I would deliver the paper every fucking day, no matter what. They would have to force me not to deliver the papers, the newspapers. I was so, I had always had a hard working ethic. Um, there were people feeling sorry for me in the pouring rain or in a fucking blizzard delivering papers. Hey, you want me to help you out? I'm like, no, I got this. Sometimes I would have to because the bike could not go in the snow, so I would have to get like a sled and walk and deliver the papers. There was the level of hard work ethic I had even back then. Um, I still have PTSD, I used to, I think the PTSD stopped, but I used, I would have to wake up at five, six in the morning every day. And I did that for fucking three or four years. And about, well, age 16 to age 18, then I got a job at a deli as a stock boy at age, so basically, actually age four, 15, I got the daily news route, but I would have to wake up six in the morning right before school every fucking day and force my, and, and I had no problem waking up. I was, you don't know how much energy you have when you're young, but I saved up all my, my paper route money. By the time I turned 17 years old and got my driver's license, I was able to buy my own used car. I had a Firebird. People were so... It was a used Firebird, but people were like, holy fuck. You know what? I, I thought you... Uh, I can't believe you got a Firebird. How would you get the money? I was like, I was saving my money as at the paper wrap. And then I worked at a deli. And then I worked myself up from a stock boy to a deli clerk to the night manager. Then I became manager at the deli. At the deli. Not only slicing cold cuts. I will tell you the worst is the breakfast rush. Making egg sandwiches coffee you would have to make the coffee for them too it was used to be hectic at these back in those days the delis were busy especially during breakfast they, the sandwiches and shit and they used to have huge orders too like huge ass fucking orders they would just order like landscapers would come in just your general working class people would go to uh, delis and shit where i where i worked at so i don't mind to make a long story short i have I have humility. I will work, and I work, used to work as a cook, a line cook. I was a chef at a bar. I was a chef at a bar. I was a bar chef. <laughs> That's the highest I ever went on the cooking industry. But I'm the type of person who, I, I, don't, I wouldn't mind going back to those days and become a cook again. But I'm going to tell you one thing, chap. Age is a huge factor. They look at your age. I'm applying for jobs at the steakhouse for a cook. I haven't worked as a cook in 25 fucking five years, but I'm still willing to, you know, I'm showing you my age chat. I'm willing to get back on the line and work for $15 an hour. They will, they're paying. I'm willing to do that because you know why? Because it's more money than I'm making here. That's what they, I'm sure. And that's how I look at it. And I don't mind a little hard work. I might, you know, let's exercise and I'll lose weight and then I'll keep that job until I can get back maybe into the IT industry, because right now there's nothing. I've never seen it so fucking bad in my life. Usually when I quit an IT job, I can get another IT contract job. Usually uh, it's IT, con I'm an IT contractor. That's my thing. And most people are IT con who work in the industry or are working on a contract. Anyway, I digress, chat. Thank you so much, Mafia Man. Thank you so much, Moho. Yeah, I used to get tips as a paper boy, but not at the deli. We didn't get a straight up salary. Well, I'm gonna have to go now. I'm 
need to get some stocks, chat. So I'm going to add that to the list. I need to get some stocks, the ankle stocks. Um, I threw away all my ankle socks that I had. They were kind of dirty and shit. So I need to get some bread flour, some mozzarella cheese. And I just need to get, I ran out of food provisions, chat. Uh, just bear with me, I'm putting them on my sneakers. the deodorant on. Something a little bit more elegant. <laughs> yeah, money is tight, but um, I'm good at squandering money, saving money, living off of sawdust. One thing I'm really thankful for is at least I have, I own a, ha a home. I own a condo. There's a lot of people out there. Even Piss Boy, I spent him for the longest time, didn't own. He always, he's rent. He rented, but I like the fact that Piss Boy, I guess his, his Japan, little, the challenges in Japan, that whole little premise really went over well with Kick, because he got another Kick contract in. He just bought a Lambo, and personally, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I really, I mean, like, like, I just don't like his content. I think the Japan shit and those, the challenges were just annoying. I only like watched for like three minutes, just went, tuned in for three minutes and like, oh, this is annoying, go back and watch something else. But I think his gay tint, all the homosexual related shit is just so played out and stupid. And I don't know who knows what the future of Kick is. They might try to lay down some legislation on Kick because they promote gambling. And I don't know, I don't see it going, I mean, they must know what they're doing on Kick. It's Kick is just a little satellite for fucking, for fucking steak. Let's put it that way. Because, look, if they lose with no more gambling or blah, 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 they have their own fucking platform so they can gamble. I don't think Kick is going away anytime soon. But the thing is, like, if you watch... I watched a little bit of fucking Piss Boy yesterday. I'm not going to lie. He was with that stupid idiot, Moses. He's slow. And they were doing gambling. They were down, and then they, they made all their money back. They started with 10000 They had 13000 That's probably when I stopped. But I really think that the powers that be at stake rig it. So Ice Poseidon wins. So his viewers think that they have a, they have a possibility to win on stake. So they have all their stake streamers who promote stake win or go down and come back up again. And it's kind of like probably rigged to manipulate the young audience. And I guarantee, like, I don't know why they're, mar they're marketing gam gambling is a really bad thing. It's like an addiction, like alcoholism. You know, some people lose all, everything from being compulsive gamblers. And I don't know why they're Focusing on, on, because look at Jack Doherty, look at everybody's audience, they're all fucking like Zoomers, like, the, the whole fucking kick shit is Zoomer, so let's get kids addicted to gambling, I don't know, I digress. Anyway, chat, let me put some uh, deodorant on.
make sure I got all my ducks in a row before we go. All right, let me just make sure I have my neck thing, my neck mount. Yeah, I, I should have my neck, neck mount. No, no, I have Newport silver, uh, menthol cigarettes. And I think maybe we should get something to eat first and then go shopping. Because I am fucking starved, chat. Listen, I ran out of food provisions yesterday, so I really had, like, I don't know what I ate yesterday. It was, like, brown rice and nothing. I ran out of food provisions yesterday, and I really should have went shopping yesterday. But uh, I was, like, kind of, like, grinding, looking for jobs. Like, any fucking job now. Not even, like, I'm at, like, you know, out here, I... I would love to work as a bartender, but, uh, and I went to bartending school a long time ago, but I don't think you really need to know all the mixed drinks. You could always ask, and I, this always happened. Somebody told me that, all right, one time I was working at uh, Hollywood Billiards, this place, Hollywood Billiards. It just opened up on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm not sure if they're still there. And I got a job as a bartender. Somebody asked for a Bloody Mary. I started trying to whip up a Bloody Mary from scratch. A little tomato juice, carrots, celery, and put it in a fucking blender. All right. The customer told me it was probably the worst Bloody Mary they ever fucking had in their life. I said, okay, I'll refund your money. I said, let me get you, what else, what, else, what else do you want besides a Bloody Mary? They didn't have Bloody Mary mix. The best way, the easiest way to make a blood a Bloody Mary is as a Bloody Mary mix. They didn't have it there. So I was trying to whip it up together. <laughs> a little Tabasco. I couldn't believe a guy would order a Bloody Mary as well. It was a male, too. Needless to say, my bartender gig did not last too long. I was doubling as security at Hollywood Billiards, too. So I worked the door at Hollywood Billiards. Uh, just checking IDs and shit like that. They just needed a big guy. And back then, I was a, little, I was a lot stronger than I am now. And when you become old, you lose everything. You lose. Look at Mike Tyson. I don't know. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? I don't know. I mean, he's the old. Oh, age is a huge factor. George Foreman, I think, was 40 years old, though. 40 years old. Remember, when you get into your 50s, it's a different ball game. You lose your strength. You fucking get injured a lot easier. You can't take the blows. You break bones easier when you're over 50 and shit like that. I mean, I don't want to. I want to avoid... Even though I, I look up to Tony Soprano. How old was Tony Soprano during the Sopranos? Probably like four, in his 40s. I need somebody else to handle my dirty work. I need like a crew, I guess, or just I need not have security like the rest of these. I'm not even big time. I mean, look at these actors. Look at Keanu Reeves. Does he walk around with security when he's out in public? No. Keanu Reeves takes the subway. He rides his motorcycle. He doesn't, he doesn't have security. You're not like Neon and all these... Aiden Ross, I need security. You know why you need security? Because you have a big mouth and you offend people. That's why you need security. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I'm trying to be like Switzerland. I'm trying not to talk shit anymore. Because that's the drunk geezer. The drunk geezer talks shit. He gets drunk. He goes on his rants. The new geezer is not like that. It's sober geezer. It's a totally different polar opposite. But let me tell you, though. The, 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 the sober geezer will still try to get content. Oh, I got a flat tire, chat. I was going to go on a bike ride, but this fucking tire is completely flat. 
That tire is low. So let's go. We're going to have to research on getting new tubes, I guess. Yeah, these have tire tubes. <clears throat> yeah, we'll look at it, though. Um, I have the front flat tire. Maybe you had a slow leak. And the back tire has a slow leak as well. But it's low on air. So maybe we'll go on Timu. Maybe we'll go on Timu and try to get a bicycle tube, a tire, bicycle tire tube. Uh, I am starved though, chat. Uh, Uh, let me just take down, I don't know, this power chat thing, because we succeeded on the mission. We're going to go to the original Dono Gold, which is covering some of my bills and expenses. One dollars I made for for dinner, or we're gonna have lunch actually. Chat. Chat, let's hit the road. Yeah, I'm more mellow at my old age of 35, huh? I used to lie about my age, but really. I'm going to tell you how old I am. You guys already know. I'm not going to lie. I'm an old motherfucker. Really, I'm old. And I think, you know, I used to think I was younger, even in my fucking mind and my physical abilities. I used to think I was still a young man. I had all the strength and vigor that I used to have, which is, I don't. I need to go to the gym, and I've seen fucking 50-year-old bodybuilders or 50-year-old guys who who work out in the gym on a regimen, and they're all... Big ass cut up, got cardio, got all that shit. Like I could probably maybe if I go on a regimen again and just go in and go in training and just train just like actors do before they go to the movie. They, you know, the shortest amount of time with the the biggest results. If you follow a strict diet and a strict fucking regimen, a workout regimen, you can in no time you can get. You know what? I need fucking steroids. I need testosterone too. There's another thing. I gotta make a I'm making an appointment with the doctor to get testosterone. If not, I will go to Mexico and I will get steroids. I will. I will get steroids and fucking and come back to, to the United States with steroids. Or I'll find a fucking steroid connection out here. I want to do fucking roids. I'm going to bring water. I don't know. Should I bring water with me, chat? Hold up. Look how dirty this container is. It's embarrassing. You know, I have water in my... I forgot. I have water. I have a bunch of water in my trunk. Ugh. Look how nice it is outside, chat. Ugh. Blue skies, chat. Yeah, always bring water, especially if you're ever traveling. Like, 
in the Sahara de- Desert. I used to always have like gallons of water when I used to drive from LA to Vegas on the 15th because you, they would be the, the summertime. And I could tell you a story how I used to drive without air conditioning because I was too cheap to fix my air conditioner and traveling for four hours, four and a half hours to five hours from LA, from LA to Vegas with no air conditioning in the middle of the summer in 120 degrees heat. I must have lost about 10 pounds on its, the sauna. It was my do-it-yourself sauna. And when I lived in Vegas the first two years, I had the same car that Ford SUV hybrid I had the same thing Ford Escape hybrid 2007 that was a year on it and I lived in Vegas for two or three years and never had air conditioning in that car because I was once again even though I had a good fucking paying job and everything else I was even too cheap or just a pro- procrastinator and saying nah, I don't want to get my air conditioning fixed all they would have probably did was put a free on it, on it. I was such an idiot. But I I always thought that suffering, when you suffer, it builds strength. That was my belief system back then. Now I'm old as fuck. In hindsight, maybe I caused my own high blood pressure with all that suffering and the heat stroke. All right, chat, let's go and let's put this in the segment. Welcome to Yeti Airlines. This is your captain speaking, Captain Yeti. Right now we have clear skies, blue skies uh, right now. The temperature is reading at 81 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to head a little bit across town uh, to get some steak. And hopefully everything goes hunky-dory. Thank you so much with flying with Yeti Airlines. This is your captain speaking, Captain Yeti. Safe travels and have a lovely day. Oh my God. I left the steakhouse that I was going to, I left it, I left the note. I need to get, I need to find out what steakhouse I'm going to, chat. I left it in my fucking, once again. Because I don't know the name of the place. All right, let's go back to the command center and find out where I'm going. Did I, you say, oh, geezer, are you going to stop drinking forever? No. Maybe I'll get drunk in a couple of weeks. But only be one time. I'm, I'm going to show you that I don't have a problem with being an alcoholic. I'm going I'm to prove it to you, Chad. This is getting drunk every fucking day, every day of the week. Ah, oh, man, that's when I had our issue, dude. That's what probably caused the high blood pressure. It's too much drinking. You notice that I don't become a preacher? All these other people who get drunk every day. I'm saying, well, each their own. Anybody who has an unhealthy diet, all they do is eat fast food. I'm not going to preach to them because I don't think people, you know, you realize, and I try to just say to people and just gently say, well, you don't want to be get as old as I am from years and years of abuse, of a bad diet heavy drinking and then all of a sudden it catches up to you you don't ever want to get to be in my my predicament that's all i gotta say you don't want to get into my predicament i got it and i'm not preaching i'm not saying no 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 and you know people want to want to get drunk and they want to be around me get drunk will it tempt me yeah it will tempt me a little bit but it probably will annoy me more than it will tempt me (laughs) being around drunk people when you're sober is not a fun thing. Uh, 
Right, we're gonna go to this little side joint, by the way. The steakhouse, I'm gonna try to not reveal where I'm going or anything like that. I want no fucking callers and all this other shit goes with being an IRL streamer. <sighs> All right, let's just put the maps in. And we're going to head over to the steakhouse before I go shopping. And also, because it's so hot outside, chat, I'm going to try to keep the camera down. I don't even want to put the AC on, chat. I want to have some fresh air in my life. All right, chat. Uh, it's sunny outside, so I really don't want to put it directly on my dash, but what we might do, oh, we might put the chest mount on, but then again, I don't want to leak where I'm going. I guarantee Lucy was connected. All right, we just switched to mobile data. That sometimes is the best thing you can do. All right, Chad, are you ready to go? Welcome to Yeti Airlines. We're finally getting off to departure. Sorry about the delay. I lost the mapping coordinates to the steakhouse. Once again, thank you so much for flying with Yeti Airlines. This is your captain speaking, Captain Yeti, and have a wonderful day. Happy Friday, by the way, chat. <laughs> No freezer trash needed to be taken out.
it's a Friday chat, so hopefully, maybe I'm going to allow free TTS. Hey, chat, give me a minute. I'm going to allow you guys some free TTS. Let me just get out of light. This way, you know, when I'm driving, I don't like to read the text, the chat, because um, it's dangerous. I don't want to be a Mongo. So once I get the opportunity, chat, I'll go ahead and, uh, and, sh and turn on uh, the free TTS. Uh, just let me get a red light. Maybe I should have did this before I started the trip. Also, furthermore, I don't want to leak where I'm going. All right, here, we're at a red light. Uh, let me open up speech chat on here. I just need to open up a browser and then open up speech chat. And let me enable um, the free TTS. And let me turn on Bluetooth. I think my Bluetooth is shut off, so. Connections, Bluetooth. Right, let's see what, what's going on here. Menu, media. All right, uh, should be on. Somebody do a command, speak. Come in, speak. I guess it's not working. All right, somebody do it. Um, fuck. Still don't hear anything. Test, test, test. Oh, there we go. I got you. Thank you. Sometimes it takes a while to warm up. I have to take the uh, the phone out of the sun, otherwise it will overheat. It's working for mods only, I think. Oh, all right. Um, shit. Sorry about that. In words. It's only working for mods. I hope I'm not in the left. Uh... All right, let me see if I can adjust that. I think it should be on subscriber mode. Well, anyway, um, when I get a chance, I'll fix it. I just need a red light. I need a red light. It stipulates LOL. I try to enable for subscribers, you know? Maybe that doesn't work. 
shit. I need to get, I think I need to get in the right lane, yeah. I'm in the wrong lane. Oh, he's letting me go. Thank you. Sometimes there's nice people out here. Uh. doesn't tell me where to go in Valley View. Uh, ah! I guess we'll just go this way here. A nice person on the road is rare these days. Plus in 1,000 feet. Use the left three lanes to continue straight. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Once again. In 800 feet. Turn left. Then turn left. Yeah, I don't know why it uh, it always does that, dude. I went down the wrong fucking way. Turn left, then turn left to Valley View Boulevard, Harmon Avenue West. In 500 feet, make a U-turn. It's dangerous to make a U-turn here. Turn left to Valley View Boulevard, Harmon Avenue West. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, let me pull over on the side here. Turn right. Then make a U-turn. Turn right. Then make a U-turn on Zebart Place. Hold on one second, shot. Make a U-turn on West Harmon Avenue. Then use the right lane to turn right to Valley View Boulevard, Harmon Avenue West. Now you know where I'm going, huh, Chuck? All right, one thing I need to do is shut off that, uh, my ways. Valley, it says Valley View North or West. Just figure it out, dude. Right, let me go to my, my speech chat and adjust it so everybody can chat. I don't know what's going on, but it, hopefully it sticks now. Uh. All right, chat, go ahead. In 500 feet, stop at nearest liquor store. <laughs> Everybody should be able to... Everybody should be able to chat now. Watch out for potholes, man. Pull. Yeti on the road. Damn it all. Rotters. God damn it all. Rolling on the floor laughing, rolling on the floor laughing, rolling on the floor laughing. Did he take out the freezer trash today? <laughs> it's getting crowded. No, I here. have not. Hi, geezer. I have there not. Yet. I have not. Sweet taken. jumps is the best. Rotter traffic buggin. Turn right in 500 feet. Golden steer time. LOL. As you know, I didn't take a right on 500 feet. Yeti on the prowl. IRL celebrity in our presence. In 40 seconds, insert new man pond. Ah. Cocksuckers wouldn't let you out, goddamn it all. 
I always Steven says Mesa random out window. Dude, I always I always make the same mistake. Ran into MGM at 500 feet. Not too shabby. Shame just sucking off Mr. Z. Echo play worst gay music ever. Geezer needs security. Turn right in 500 feet and have a vape. Over 175 watching currently. We are his only friends. F you mad freak. Turn right in 200 feet and kaboom. Lolololololololol. Here I go. Lolololololol. You cock sucking rotters, get out of my way. Hey lady, move it. I am going to get steak. Lady, move your ass. Putting his life on the line. In a nutshell. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
God damn it, Hall. Hold on one Black second. Blackbird is weak sauce. Blackbird is weak sauce. Turn right on Arbel Street. Uh, we're, we're almost there. Imagine getting lost in this day and age, cross like grinning face. Well, tongue. I don't want to have it. I don't. Why hold up, hold up, chat. Chat. I don't want to have you guys on while I'm. I don't want you guys to know where I'm going, so I had to mute it. So I'm, I'm going blindly here because if I have the ways, the TTS and the ways, I don't want you, you guys to know where I'm going. I don't want no callers. Is the TTS working still or no? The Joe Biden of Las Vegas. Always lost. Yeah, right? What Pizza Hut are you going to? No, the we're blind going... Yeti. We're gonna get us. God damn it, Alal. Imagine oh. living in Vegas for six years and not knowing my way around. Yeah, that's because Even we get lazy. Vegas Hold up. Hold up. You get lazy. You get lazy when you're in Vegas. You get lazy when they have the new technology. Back when I moved to a new city, I used to have to study maps. Now they got Waze and Google Maps and all that shit. Or how is your high cholesterol? Sophia Bach update. We could go to a swarm photographer. We could go to the swarmer place. Flora, please. We can get swarmer. Imagine imagining. Please give me cock. Keep giving me cock. Have you ever smoked a cigarette and tried to out the window? Then a minute later, you smell something and turn around to see your grand fingering herself on the back seat. Get a $30 blowy at Sapphires. Would you ever date Jewel Rancid? No. Ever. I'm just going to be... you going to have a Lisa Jordan mugshot merch? Listen, listen. I study math. Uh, I'm going to be polite here. I want to be very polite. No, I would not date um, Jewel Rancid. I just want to be polite and not, you know, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and not, and be polite, you know? Basketball Americans commit 80% of the crimes. 77,777,777. Oh, thank you. Jesus, show me your skin care. You're glowing. Thank you. Palatella. New Uber ride detected. This is a dream geezer. Wake up. My pussy is wet. You're in a mania. Are you meeting up with Chris Angel to return his grill? Please give me cock. Do you have cock? Do you want cock? All right, chat. Um, I'm almost at the the place. Hold Why on. don't you wear sunglasses? Because I need prescription. Would you bang Natalie Reynolds? Oh yeah. New Uber customer oh. detected. Would I bang Nat Natalie Reynolds? I probably definitely would. Have I ever busted a nut to Natalie Re Reynolds? Yes, I have. Does that answer your question? <laughs> She has a slender body, and I don't know, something about her, I just want to shove my dick in her mouth and shut her up. So, chat, we got to be incognito here. Chat, we got to be incognito. I'm going to shut off the free TTS. I wish I could park in the shade. There's no shade. Oh, 
I need to get my battery pack. Hold on. Right, chat. I want to get my battery. I want to have my battery pack on me. But we're going to have everything in my bag. And I have my battery pack. But don't get mad, chat, if I mute you, chat. If I mute you, do not get mad. Or if I... Not, I'm not mute you, but if you don't see anything, don't get mad. Because I don't want any problems here, chat. I want to enjoy myself. what I want because I heard somebody else come here. <laughs> okay. Can I get you something to drink? Uh, yeah, just non-sweet and iced tea if you have. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, donators, for making this possible. I would like to say uh, thank you to Mafia Man and um, I told you that this place was old school. Sorry, I'm trying to thank somebody else who donated. Oh. I'd like to say thank you to Moho and Mafia, man. All right, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I would like your ribeye steak, please. Please, the one pound. Did you want the dinner? Um, whatever is the um. Yeah, sounds great. Thank you. All set. Thank you. All right, let me grab this for you. All right, thanks. thank you. So I got the ribeye steak. They have a one-pound ribeye steak, and this is old school. Hey, thank you very much to Moho and Mafia Man. Big up to Moho. <laughs> Now, 
You can see the old school. Look at the old school settings here. And this is way off the strip shot. Way off the strip. I was gonna get water, but you know what? I'm 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 feeling a little frisky, chat. I got a non-sweetened iced tea. Oh no! Don't tell me I have callers. Let's see. <laughs> If I have to stop the stream, I will, and we'll do a tape to broadcast. It's hard to tell you what it's... Uh... I will stop the stream. If it is a caller, and tell them, okay, I guess I won't buy any food here, but uh, I don't think it's a caller. I think, I tell you, I got PTSD every time I hear the phone ring. But remember, there's a YouTuber who, another YouTuber came here. So I got, so we're gonna edit this video later. No, actually there's a shawarma place. Uh, they got Middle Eastern food. Oh, they got, this actually they have a bunch of restaurants. This is like uh, Chinatown area, I guess. And they have a lot of Asian restaurants around here. So. Spring Valley is a really good place to go to eat for Asian food or if you want like a steak, you can get a good steak out here. After I get done eating and paying for the meal, I'll, sh I'll take you on a tour of this restaurant here. play it too loud because there's other people eating by me. Maybe I should have sat in that corner because all you see is a green background. Doesn't this look like the Brady Bunch type restaurant? Oh, I look, look like I lost weight. Maybe I lost weight. You know, I'm trying to... Even though today is like really my cheat day. <laughs> I look a lot slim. I mean, hopefully I'll get more slim. Thank you so much. Glass of water, 87. By a scale from Timu. I'll do it myself. Can one of my mods, let me see if I have any mod in here, but if you can change the stream's title, I'll do it actually. I have all the time in the world.
Yeah, over a month sober, Nightmare 8877. I'm going to prove to you, I want to prove to the viewers that I have strength. <laughs> you know, I want to prove, and not only that I have strength to get sober, but also I want to prove to you viewers that I can work a regular 9 to 5 grunt job. I can work as a french fry cook, a dishwasher, or a line cook. I worked as a line cook before. And I'm willing to show that I can do it, because I can humble myself with humility. By the way, there was an, an offer, there was a job posting for <laughs> newspaper delivery once a week for $150 a week. That's $150 a week is $600 a month. I was considering doing that. The, 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 to deliver papers in my car once a week, one hundred and fifty dollars a week. Should I? Should I? I should consider that. It's better than nothing. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> but um. I just had an interview or some type, but not an interview, I guess you can say it's the first interview for a work at home job doing data, data entry. So, I, I mean, I've done data entry before. It is boring, but I'll be working at home, so it won't be that boring. I was doing data entry for eight hours a day for some temp agency, and I went crazy. I had a cubicle, and I people that work there, they treat temps like shit. So... When I was a temp worker, sometimes I used to do temp work. They used to treat temp workers like shit. I never stood for that shit. I would cuss people out and just walk out on the job. You can't wait to see the ribeye steak. be a thousand newspapers I would have to deliver though for that much for 150 a week you know what's good Chad sometimes you find these little off the strip places totally away from the strip like a mom and pops type of place and those are the best places in my opinion Hey, did, did the title change, chat? Hey, chat, did, did the title change? Actually, I wouldn't mind getting the job at Domino's, but make to cook pizza, not to deliver, to be, uh, I wanna learn how to, you know, the, the whole thing is I would have got probably got a job as a pizza cook. They don't pay you much, but they probably pay like 15 bucks an hour to be a pizza cook. But the thing is I'll get the experience and then who knows, I might open up my own food truck and I learn how to, you know, make pizzas quickly. And I, you know, I know how to stretch dough, but doing that eight hours a day would be a great experience for, for me. Just personal experience because maybe I found my new calling in life, which is pizza. <laughs> no, I, I changed title tech one. Let me see. Let me go to Buck. Let me see the title changed. It should be pizza uh, live. Oh yeah, live ribeye steak review. That's what the title should be. And you know this because there's other people around. Normally I speak with a very loud voice, but being that I have to be respectful to the other people and talk in a normal tone, it's not like when I'm walking around on the strip, I have to talk loud so you guys can hear me. I have to be respectful to others. Ooh, lemon meringue. 
Meringue pie sounds captivating. <laughs> oh, price a little over cent for dollars. You real one off that special. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> Look at that shot. Hold on one second, let me replay that dono, but... Right when she came to deliver the food, the donation went off. <laughs> Price a little over cent for dollars. You real one off that's what's it. Hey, thank you, OG pizza lover. Check out this ribeye steak. It's one pound. It's medium rare, yeah, look. What I'm going to do with, is without the A1 sauce. They have A1 steak sauce here. But I want to try this without A1 steak sauce. Look at that. That's cooked medium rare to perfection. that charbroiled taste to it. Oh my God, that is delicious. It has nice char taste to it. Oh yeah, ribeye steak. <laughs> Can't go wrong for 20 bucks. Can't be better at Outback. Yeah, better than Outback and some of these um, casinos too, you know? Dude, I don't even want to put steak sauce on this. Dude, look at those grill marks. I went to Outback many, many years ago. Mm. It's so juicy and vibrant. It doesn't even need salt or pepper. It is perfectly seasoned perfectly grilled. Look at these grill marks.
Let's have an onion ring. Right, let's have an onion ring. Probably beer battered. Way better than Burger King's onion rings. <laughs> Delicious. Have a good one, man. Friendly people here as well. Crispy onion rings. You can tell they're beer battered too. Look at the size of these onion rings. Listen, I'm, my, the onion rings are pretty much an afterthought. I came here for the steak. You know how much money I used to spend on whiskey per week? Minimum $80 a week on, on whiskey and beer. Minimum. Man, this is so delicious, man. All right, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this on price, flavor, taste, flavor, taste, everything. Price, on a scale of one to 10, I give this a nine. The onion rings on a scale of one to 10 are an eight. I don't know, I'm not really an onion ring connoisseur. <laughs> I really didn't come here for the onion rings, I came here for the steak. So let's uh, skip this. the onion ring review is a side review. You know what, I'm gonna come back here and try some of the other items on their menu. They actually have a lunch menu too, and I actually got the dinner steak. I bet they have T-bone steak and eggs here too. The waitress is nice. So you get the local Las Vegas women who like that. They're genuine, they're nice. They, she probably has a boyfriend on the chat. They all, all the good ones are taken. <laughs> this is the causes my depression. You're absolutely right. A nice steak makes me happy. This place is a hidden gem. Oh, 
I really don't like green beans too much, but let me have a little taste. Mmm. Good flavor, man. I'm not really a green beans person. It tastes a little bit of garlic, some of that bacon flavor. Not bad for green beans. Tell you, this is better than, uh, what's that place I go to all the time? Ellis Island. This is better steak than Ellis Island. I'd rather have this than the Ellis Island prime rib. Looks like he's got a club sandwich and french fry and a soup melody medley. Right, should we try a little bit of A1 steak sauce? Try a little A1 steak sauce. Even though I don't really recommend putting steak sauce on anything that's steak that good, but we'll try a little bit of this A1. Probably filled with sodium. <laughs> doesn't need the A1 steak sauce. I think it's better without the A1 steak sauce, to be honest. To be perfectly candid. He's eating a club sandwich. And I'll tell you where I'm going when I leave. I'll tell you where I'm at. And then when you're in Vegas, you can check out this place and probably get good deals. How's everything? Top notch. Thank you so much. The steak is awesome. Thank you. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Man, that steak is juicy, succulent. Man, has a nice charred taste to it. Yeah. And a nice little quaint environment here too. It's um, I, when you can find little. <coughs> God, excuse me. When you can find these little. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> God, I'm choking. We have to edit that out. Don't worry, Chad, I'm going to edit that out. You can find these... <coughs> Cut, action. Okay, it's, it's great when you can find these little hidden gems, these little mom and pops restaurants. It's, it's kudos right there. Now, unfortunately, with COVID, they... A lot of mom and pop restaurants and, and businesses did not survive. I'm sure this place has been a staple. I'll tell you where I'm at when I leave. I don't want to. We're alive right now, Sam. Hopefully, she doesn't think I'm a baller. I'll give her a good tip, though. A lot of people think or assume because you're a YouTuber, you're a minor league celebrity, that you have a lot of money. Well, I'm probably the most poverty-stricken live streamer in, in, the, in the industry. <laughs> Look at that. 
shot. Close your mouth when I chew. Okay, duly noted. And you know what? The music is not too loud, so I like that too. A lot of restaurants, they have the music very loud, so you hurry up and eat and you get out. steak is, will I come back here? Yes, I will. The majestic line is someone you do not cross. Hi, OG Geezer. Enjoy your meal and vote for Trump. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for that dono. Friends, delegates, and fellow Americans, I humbly and gratefully Accept your nomination for the presidency of the United States. Together, we will lead our party back to the White House, and we will lead our country back to safety, prosperity, and peace. We will be a country of generosity and warmth, but we will also be a country of law and order, the crime and violence that today afflicts our nation will soon, and I mean very soon, come to an end. We cannot afford to be so politically correct anymore. We will honor the American people with the truth and nothing else. Our trade deficit is $800 billion. Yeah, think of that. $800 billion. Last year alone, we're going to fix that. Our roads and bridges are falling apart. Our airports are third world condition. And 43 million Americans are in food stamps. Now, let us consider the state of affairs abroad. Not only have our citizens endured domestic disaster, but they've lived through one international humiliation after another, one after another. This is the legacy of Hillary Clinton. Death, destruction, terrorism, and weakness. Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo. Thank you for that dono. Yeah, that was an old speech. is just discussing stuff, chat. Oh man, that was delicious, that steak.
Remember when this song came out, the video, physical, Olivia Newton-John? I've masturbated to it as a youth. Oh my God. I was into her luck. I, I, Olivia Newton-John? In her prime? Scrumptious. <laughs> Waitress is just looking at her customers. Hopefully she makes good money here in this day and age. Special thanks to Mojo and Mafia Man. Big up to Moho and Mafia Man, also known as Mojo. And everybody else who have donated, OJ, OG Pizza Lover. Everybody that has donated, thank you so much to make my, this possible. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. While well, I was up to like three, four in the morning going through all the job listings and applying for jobs as a dishwasher or as a line cook or just anything, I almost had a nervous breakdown. I actually started crying a little bit as the tears because, but then you know what? Maybe those are, I just need an opportunity. I need some place to hire me, even though I haven't worked as a line cook or these type of jobs in years. I just need an opportunity, and I'll work for $15 an hour. I'll humble myself. I was clinically depressed last night. One thing I will never do is sell my soul to Ice Poseidon. They're all cloud chasers. Moses, Slightly Homeless, Shout. They're all like kiss asses and subservient to Ice Poseidon. Even though if Ice Poseidon came up to me and wanted to hang out with me but then degrade me, I would not allow him to degrade me. Okay? Yes, can I get... Um, no, I'm good. Just gotta check when you have a chance. Thank you. I didn't apply for jobs at 4 a.m. I was looking at jobs and then copy and pasting. That was a really good steak. I'm glad another YouTuber came here. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try out this place. He also gave gave great reviews as well. Oh well, we have it 24 hours a day. We serve breakfast version 24 hours as well. It's the same steak. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hopefully I get you some traffic because um, yeah. I go to restaurants and I do food reviews. So okay. you got nine stars for the, out of ten out of the, for the steak and the service was a ten. Ten on the service. Refill, but I'm good on the iced tea. Thank you. What was your name? Anna. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Anna, remember to give her good reviews.
I gave her a ten dollar tip. <laughs> You know why? Because of you guys. I tipped the working class people. I gave her a $10 tip. The bill was $25. I gave her a $10 tip. You know why? Because I'm like that. Spread the love. Hell no. I'm giving her a, I gave her a $10 tip because the bill came to $25. I gave her a $10 tip. That's how it goes, chat. Remember to spread the love. One more onion ring. Tell you where I'm at in a minute, chat. And we'll take a little tour of the restaurant here. Thank God I got nicotine gum. <laughs> If you don't believe me, chat. At Jackson's Bar and Grill, by the way, chat, and it was a great fucking meal. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, I'm in the bar. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going in the bar area. I want a job. <laughs> Jackson Bars and Grills, chat. Look at this. They got machines here. They have a bar. All right, man. All right. The steaks are awesome here. Five, ten star, uh, ten out of ten on the steaks. <laughs> uh, and they locked the door, I guess, because they might have a homeless problem here, but... It's like a locals only place, chat. Oh, they got a security camera too. I guess they might have a homeless problem. You have to ring to get in there.
Hopefully we got a good shot of the front for the review. Hey chat, did I get a good shot of the front for the review? Uh, so bright outside. Look, they got seafood here. Wow, I was looking for a seafood place like this. They have live lobsters. Wow. Let me see how much a lobster cost here. Hello. I was just checking out your price on a live lobster. How much is a live lobster per pound? Cool. I was looking for probably a lot better than Seafood City, right? <laughs> Okay. Cool. Um, I'll be I'll be in your area. Thank you so much. And you got snow crab here, or? Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, that's right here. Oh, little baby crabs. Yeah. Yeah, and over there you can see oysters, clams, and river clams. Oh wow! All right, yeah, I know where you, where you. I just moved in the area, so yeah, and also I'm a chef, so so um, the oysters are 32 for 12. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I was going to ask, but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Have a nice day. Live lobsters, I mean, man, you can find, we can't really find good seafood places where they have live lobsters, dude. I think I found my own live lobster spot, chat. Sorry about my camera work. She didn't care about the camera. Sometimes Asians don't give a young, young, Asians don't care about the camera, it's the old ones. Ugh. Ugh. What is this? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I got Newport cigarettes. <laughs> I mean menthol cigarettes. <laughs> I got a little fucking onion rings caught in my throat. Ugh. <laughs> Man, they even raised the, yeah, man, I can't believe the prices of fast food. <clears throat> I really can't believe the price, I really can't believe this fucking inflation. Fucking give all the money to Ukraine and Israel. Mainly, mainly to Israel. I mean Ukraine. Yeah, they shut all the gas lines. We had a fucking, we had a fucking pipeline that the fucking Biden fucking dissembled. Loss of jobs, loss of fucking oil reserves, thanks to fucking potato head, fuck face. Oh. He really pushing the green energy bullshit. You know, they have slaves in the in in the Congo who who go to the fucking mines for the electric batteries. <laughs> There's slavery going on right now. Child slavery, by the way, in, in Africa, Congo for the batteries. 
And they say that batteries, the electric batteries are more detrimental to the environment than fossil fucking fuels. Uh, 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 this is for the food review. Jackson's Food and Spirit Video Poker. Nice little place here. I just had their ribeye steak, their one pound ribeye steak. For twenty dollars, on a scale of one to ten. Hello, I'm outside of Jackson's Food and Spirits. I just had their one pound ribeye steak for twenty dollars. On a scale of one to ten, I give it a nine. What can I tell you about this? It was nice. Vibrant and juicy and succulent. I wanted it medium rare. It came out medium rare. It had that char taste, the char taste to it that I like and admire. If you're ever in Vegas, check out Jackson's Food Spirits right over here. <laughs> I don't know. Should we do another take? Uh, it's so fucking bright out. I can't even see the screenshot. It's so bright. Uh, I'll put the AC on. <laughs> I think we, we drive around a little bit and everything will be hunky dory. You know what I'm going to do soon, chat? We're going to go to Costco. We're going to try another Costco. The one maybe in, in, in North Vegas instead of Henderson. Because I get really bad reception. Or I'm going to try to, try to do my best to go to Costco and take you on a tour of Costco here in Vegas. Alright, shot. Till I end the stream, you guys want to talk? Let's open it up for free TTS. Alright, we're opening it up for free TTS. You can do a command, speak. Command, speak. Here comes Schneider. That's a guy who was sitting on table next to me. Uh. I tip more than Piss Boy Poseidon. Fucking stupid rich guy got a Lambo and couldn't even tip the valet. Uh, Mr. Baller. And then he's being cheap about, oh, Moises, uh, you owe me $25. You owe Moises $25. Fucking Piss Boy. All that fucking money, dude. The most undeserving, 
motherfuckers make it in the industry. Such an arrogant, smug motherfucker. Ugh. I fucking hate arrogance and smugness. Oh, sorry, chat. We're going to try another Costco. The one maybe in, in, in North Vegas instead of Henderson. Because I get... All right, somebody do a test on the... I don't know what's going on here. Somebody do a test. When was your last panic attack geezer? Uh, I've been good. I've been good, I guess, for a while on my panic, panic attacks. JS, JS, J, what you Z, D, D. Hot dog buns. Test. All right, thank you. We're doing good. I got to make a U-turn over here. Echo, turn my Sibian on. Now. He's her fillets fish all day and all night. <laughs> Call Blackbird and invite him over. This is the journey meant for you. That was a cozy spot teaser. Please give me cock. Do you want cock? Can you find some cock? Do you want a cock? R.I.P. Ice Poseidon, you here. ever have been in never get will be low. Get to the crib and both y'all get rich. Yeah, Anon! Thank you, Anon! Duly noted! When Sonic is on his way to hang. Please give me cock. Do you want cock? Can you find some cock? Do you want a cock? Please give me cock. Do you want cock? Can you find some cock? Do you want a cock? EBC said he wants to chill and stick two fingers up your ass. Let's go back to the command center and beat up some rotters in GTA 5 furthermore. I'll get here saving IRL saved form the content drop. My new living room microwave lamp. Peter, I would totally suckle on your sweaty socks, you dirty old dirty rotten underbird. It's the end of the world as we know it, but I feel all funny. No U-turn, oh fuck it dude, I'll break the law. No cops around, hopefully. Kachin, for dollars you fucking rotter. Have a great Aloha Friday. Hey, thank you CWJ, I think your name was. Thank you so much. These are anti-aging man. Thank you so much. Makes me want to get drunk, but I'm not going to. I'm going to see if I can do it without getting drunk. Do some IRL tonight. Bring back Grove Nights at the Command Center. Fuck Grove Night at the Command Center. Chevy Cheryl, you could do a command speak to say that. And then once I get a job, no matter what job it is, if I get a job flipping burgers. Hey, sir, what's your thoughts on UFOs? You forgot the lemon meringue pie. Yeah, maybe I should have got that, but that's that's then it would have cut into the the lady's tip, and I was full, dude. After that steak and those onion rings, I was filled up, chat. Hope they have free samples today. Looking like you lost some weight. Thank have you! Have you been weighing yourself without man pun? <laughs> what's your thoughts on aliens? Uh, I think they exist. I think there's definitely um, another life form out there in the universe. And I think the I think these life forms 
have interacted on Earth. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can't explain with the unidentified, you know, flying objects. There's a lot that should not be disputed. A lot of it's fake. Hire the media per second on donation alerts, and you will get a lot more donations. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you for the, thank you for the tidbit and the advice. I'll do that once I get home. Yo, Boozer, you're out and about. Live streams are the shit. Are you early later? Yeah, you man. You are looking healthier, dude. If my... if you are feeling better, dude. If I didn't have True. a, if I didn't have not a, not too crabby, Cheryl. All right, get it... away, get away, get away now. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away now. If I didn't, I digress. Chat, hold up, hold up. I'm trying to talk here. If I didn't have a flat on my tire. I would go, I would do some bike riding, but we're going to fix that immediately. If I have to go to eBay, I really wouldn't trust anything on Timu for like a uh, a bicycle tire tube. I wouldn't trust that on Timu. Maybe you can try to do that. Maybe I just need a patch. Maybe there's a hole in the tire. Um, I need to get a bicycle pump though. We can order that on Timu. It, or we can go to Walmart and buy a bicycle pump for 10 bucks. And all I need to do is get uh, patches. I've patched tires before. All right, I'm going to put you back on, TTS. I needed to get a word in edgewise. Get green slime at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> how do you look so young and your skin looks poreless and plump? I don't know. I guess it's so yeah. Hold up. Sometimes it's about the lighting, how my skin looks good. There's other times where if the lighting or the angle is, I look old as fuck. But um, I mean, thank you, man. I think it's just the the lighting that I mean, really don't have wrinkles like a lot of people do have at my age. I think I do look good for being fifty something years old. Uh, thank you so much for that compliment. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away now. You do look young, though, for your age. Thank you. Should I lie to the women, or should I just be honest? I think you got to be Scooping honest. Scooping for a ribeye steak today, Patricia. Oh, hi, Janet. Hell have no wrath like a woman scorned. No, it's like, oh, hi, darling. I on TV and my dick fell off. No, we got to get some food provisions. What's up with future collabs with Benny Mac? Yeah, whenever he's around, I'll do a collab. Um, what I'm realizing if I... Uh, ooh, uh, hold on. Ooh, 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 HR, uh, hold on, hold on. What I'm realizing with Benny, Benny Mac, if I go to Brooklyn, they have like a downtown. I don't know if, uh, if I would be able to get content because Benny Mac streams live over there in New Zealand and his viewers have been down, his live viewers. Um, I want to get my passport. It's something I should be looking into. But, uh, chat, I made a, for my car, um, maybe in a month or so, I might start driving Uber because I got, I, I made an appointment with the Ford dealership, but it's like a, like fucking three weeks away. So we're going to take care of my car. And if my car gets all taken care of, maybe I'll start driving Uber <laughs> for money. But as far as Benny Mac, if I get my passport, then I can fly to Australia. I mean, Australia is a really big, they have a lot of good cities there and stuff to do. I would say like New Zealand only has like two cities maybe that's, you can do IRL, I don't know. Uh, it goes to show you Benny Mac is a lot better when he's like in the United States and and also collabing with other streamers. I do watch Benny Mac. I always tune in. But it's kind of like I go to his and I watch another streamer and I watch other streamers. And yeah, Benny Mac is like streamer. Him and Zychotic are like people that I'm cool with, like that I wouldn't mind. Like Zychotic is coming to Vegas soon and we're gonna hang out. Over the years.
Leave uh, USA Geezer to get rich. Thank you. With the hard ER or R, hard ER. <laughs> Soon Mr. Z will establish your superiority over Vegas and circling the militia. Zip it already, let us TTS you, Rotter. God damn it all, Rotters, but I digress in a nutshell. Kaboom. These are fighting kangaroos would be epic. People your age have deep wrinkles and uneven skin tone, but yours looks great, geezer. What are some things that have helped over the years? Um, uh, drinking a lot of whiskey. <laughs> Steak. <laughs> Sticking a man pond up your ass. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. My phone, my my, uh, my screensaver went on on my phone or some shit. You know the screen lock. So when my screen lock goes on, it stops the TTS. I uh, somebody do TTS. Steak, 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 steak. What's your skincare routine? Um, just wash. I don't really wash my face as much as I should. Find a Barbie girl in this Barbie world. Who knows, maybe... Barbie girls are fantastic Listen. when they are not made of plastic. But Getty and a BZ for promoting gay tent in hindsight. Well, I would just and say take your vi take vitamins and shit. Men. And don't over... Don't drink soda. See, here's one of my tricks, too. I don't drink anything... I don't drink carbonated or sugary sodas for the last 20 years. All right, so soda. Do not drink soda. Limit your fast food. Two cents for dollars. You can get your brother. Donate to this degenerate human being. He deserves it. Pure content in a nutshell. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you. Is a Barbie boy. <laughs> I'm gonna blow it just like this guy. Put slime in your tires patches, holes and protects against dessert thorns, homie. <laughs> I love soda. Yeah, yeah. I love soda. Stop drinking I soda. Love soda. And all thing is drink. We'll get you a nice blonde in New Zealand. Also, you try to have like three. Geezer. Have Maybe it. that's why you look young because you stayed away. Yeah, and also another thing, chat is eat like three. O U H one soy nickels oh, oh, a hold on, hold on. Try to eat like three to five meals a day. And always try to get at least six to eight hours of sleep per day. That's another secret. And be addicted to meth for like a year. <laughs> and don't sleep at all. <laughs> I love your streams. You are a beautiful man. Oh, thank you. Soda with cane sugar isn't that bad. Bo 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 bo. Geezer, you have never smoked cigarettes. That's why. Don't sleep more than ten hours. Yeah, that's the thing. The invention of the man pawn, a tampon to challenge traditional gender norms and provide a solution for various health needs. Yeti streams are amazing. My 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 my. These are it could be your genetics too. Yeah. For you. I used to work for this Italian guy and he was like 30. LMAO. Dude, this guy was like 35 years old and but had just gray hair but his face was like his face was like an 18 year old and he was like 100% Italian. A lot of Italians have good My 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 my. my, my you know, it's my, drinking my, red my, wine too. How about Easy just said he will be your brown sugar bear. Oh, hi, Cheryl. Bucket face re Master, we are here for you. Shut the fog up, chat. Let yeah. him get... Yeah, I need to get some food provisions. Bobby I need... Flanker said he's going to crush your fucking skull in. Oh, that's... He said stop talking shit about him. I don't talk shit about him. I don't talk shit about him, so... 
I try to not talk shit about anyone, especially him, because he's not all mentally stable. I don't think he is. I think he's he just gets takes things too too far. He doesn't like criticism. So, uh, and who gives a fuck about him anyway? Um, I'm just trying to do my own thing and not talk shit about anyone. In hindsight. Because I'm sick of it. That's the drunk geezer talking shit about everybody, going on little rants and shit. I'll talk shit about Ice Poseidon, though, sober. Because I don't like Ice Poseidon. I think he's a, a, a shitty human being. Plus, he's, he's a rich guy. Like you don't, you don't talk about other struggling streamers. <laughs> Non-entity streamers. Trying to make it in this fucking industry. You for you. are law enforcement they're very very important and when i'm in a jam in a jam your skin will always make the first impression even before your confidence or intelligence i'm going to fillet the police do a pizza review um i'm gonna get some i need to get some bread flour to make pizza though so it's part of my i'm gonna run some errands right now chat <clears throat> In 200 feet, Daniel will be at GameStop on your rank. <laughs> I have the whiskey shits. Not anymore. Now I get healthy shits. Your skin will always make the first impression, even before your confidence or intelligence. The whole thing is just remember this, Chad. Saint is life calling you an old loser and worse. Ah, oh, that's okay. I think he's been drinking. Yeah, that's a echo, echo, echo. Let echo, him echo, echo, let him call echo, me all the Listen, Saint Saint is once like, Saint is mentally ill. It's really apparent that he can sit there for 12 hours and just talk about himself and like he's the most interesting person in the world when he's really mentally ill. He's a disgusting human being and let him squander in his own misery. Let him suffocate in his own fucking self-misery. We don't need any assistance when people just hate themselves, so they hate you. So that's the whole thing is they, people who hate you really hate themselves. See, you understand that? They're jealous of you in a nutshell. They might be jealous of me because I actually do IRL and he sits there and he gets bed sores, I guess. And he talks shit. He, he turns on everyone. He turns on all his friends. He turned on Blade. He turned on Becky. He turned on every, he turned on all his He's fucking friends. He's literally fr the definition of a rotter. Yeah. It's okay to speak about other streamers that scout the game of. It's part so it of never has been, never will be. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. Caesar to... has a nine inch cock. To ho ho hi ho. Probably ho -ho like ho eight, ho -ho not ho -ho. nine. Caesar. Please get Bjorn to come stay at the compound. Saint killed Willie two guns. He had a lot to do with it. Him and Tone. <clears throat> I wouldn't say. Geezer he, has an eight inch cock. He had something to do with it. I mean. It's okay to speak about other streamers that scout the game rotters. Ab said fuck you. Your skin is your best accessory. The thing is you can't... Take good care of it. Healthy skin is a reflection of overall wellness. Yeah, and also don't get stressed out and, you know, my... I have to admit, I do get stressed out, the anger management shit for the little things. But then it's just venting, it's not bottling... I'd like to see oh. you, Carl and Psychotic Stream, not going to lie. Oh, that echo, would be... Echo, 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 yeah, echo, that would be nice. Hold up. Um... The whole thing is that if you have built up emotions inside of you, you should release all your negative emotions and vent. And that's what I do when I, I used to go on the rants and, and it's letting it out and venting. It's letting out all your emotions. But the thing is, I do it live, which is not a really good look. So because then you guys just see the anger, the angry side. But it's nothing wrong with expressing your anger and your emotions and let it, letting it out. 
you know? Gazer, how are you any different than others? You talk so much, smack about other people burning bridges. You're like SJC carbon copy. Well, I'm trying to fucking Gazer, turn over a new leaf. Hold up, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. You understand? Because I would want... the Mustang. Hold up. Hold up. I've been watching some of my old videos and shit. And, of course, every time I burn my bridges and, and say, talk shit about others, it's when I'm drunk. It's not when I'm sober, probably. Like, maybe only 3% of the time I'm sober when I go on these tirades and rants. But what I'm trying to do is, like, turn over a new leaf and try to be... Just don't go around hating because it's going to bite you in the ass in the long run. If you go around, keep hating and hating and hating, hating people and all this other stuff and having people on your mind, it's just going to like, it's not good for you. And that's another thing is just don't, don't go around hating and hating and hating and hating. And it's just, because it's not a good emotion. It's not a good thing to have in your biochemistry. All right. Now I'll let you guys talk now. And also, here's another tidbit, is accepting, if you have yellow teeth, accept it. Accept the way you look. Accept your yellow teeth. Accept your big nose. Accept that you look like a Jew, even though you don't want to look like a Jew. size girth and strength have a lot to do with overall health. Geezer Amazon has some good ankle socks. Geezer oh. survived the CX effect. When are you going to drink some vodka sodas? At Cargo 703 are you retarded lol. I mean. Penis size girth and strength has a lot to do with overall health. Maybe vodka. You deserve a whiskey cheap. Day it's Friday OG. Yeah maybe vodka. Have a hot dog vodka and cranberry pasta? perhaps. Geezer Amazon has some good ankle socks. I mean, vodka. Geezer, LOL. I think maybe vodka. Geezer uh, Amazon has some good ankle socks. Maybe a real, I know, I got the Amazon memo. Uh, we're gonna, I don't want to order really on Amazon. You definitely don't want to order clothes on Timu, by the way, chat. Geezer Amazon has some good ankle socks. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I digress. All right, chat, no more TTS. I don't know. We'll see if the TTS still works. All right, let's go. We'll put this on my neck. All right, chat, you, I'm going to see if we can get the TTS to follow me inside the store. I don't have my other Bluetooth speaker. I would need two separate Bluetooth speakers. One in the chat if I'm live. I mean, one in the chat if you can hear me. Sometimes I have a bad habit of, you know, muting myself. Uh, thank you for verifying. Ah. Two for one, I got $300 on here, whatever you want to spend, 
You spend a hundred, give me fifty dollars. You spend twenty five, just give me fourteen fifty. Okay. You, you, you take cash up? Uh, I don't take cash. I just want cash. Fuck. And then um, you load it up on the card. I swipe it. It's cleared. You give me the cash in the hand. Done. A hundred dollars worth of shit? Okay. Yeah. Let me go to the... Worth of shit. Give me fifty dollars. All right. I'm with you. Now. Stop the teacher real quick. What's what is this? Up? We're trying to have a school teachers be able to go on strike. Uh, there's a provision in the contract. Yeah, I, I signed one of those the other day with it. With it. School teachers? Yeah, somewhere else though, on, on the other by uh, Seagull Suites. Oh, yeah. Down, yeah, so would it count? I mean, I'll do it. I'll put another... Want me to put another name in there? Like my, my roommates? Yeah. What's, what's his zip code? 89169. I can't tell you to do it, but you do what you want to do. Yeah, I'll do my roommate, so yeah. This way you get credit, right? Or whatever. I'm not sure how it works. I'll go to the bank in a minute, dude. Okay. Yeah, fifty. I'll do fifty bucks. All right. Fifty. I get a hundred, right? For fifty. Yeah, fifty. Yeah, you get a hundred. All right, cool. Go. Sounds good. Sign date. Okay. Sign date. date. Has to be even or a little bit under, though. Right? Under or yeah. Right. All right. A dollar or two is not. It's not a problem. How you doing? Last time, teacher from me real quick. I'm trying to help out the school teachers. Trying to find out one of the worst school districts in America. There's a provision in the teachers' contract that won a lot of awards, right? Right there. Now, no, we're trying to remove this so they can teach on that. And today is the 19th. Clark County, right? Yeah. Yeah, like that. That's good. That's good to go. yeah I think I got everything there, right. yeah. Appreciate it. Clark County yeah. is in there. All right, my friend. That's good luck. All right, let me get you 50 bucks. Hold on one second, um, fuck. I have to stop the stream, I don't want to do this live. Uh, Chad, I'm not doing anything illegal. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go to uh, In-N-Out Burger for, I have to get some uh, dildos. 